Hi everyone, I am Dr. Yasser Chomail, emergency physician. I came in YouTube video to just bring awareness of snake bite treatment and first aid which common man should know. In India, we have three types of poisonous snakes. They are the cobra, cray and the viper. Among the cobra, there is king cobra and among the viper, there are three uh, types. They are the Russell Viper, Saw Scale Viper, and Humped Nose Viper. Among this, Cobra, Crate are the neurotoxic that will mainly affect our nervous system. And the Vipers are hematotoxic that will affect our circulatory or blood vessels. So let's look into the symptoms, what we see if the snake bites us. So we can grossly divide them into neurotoxic and hematotoxic. The neurotoxics are the cobra and the crates. So if somebody is bitten by a cobra, we can find that there will be a swelling and pain in the site of the uh, bite. And this is not seen in case of the crates. And you can see the blackish discoloration of the bitten area and there will be some blisters in case of cobras. And also we can see the neurological symptoms like ptosis, which means the lids, eyelids will be, uh, will be always down, will not, they will not be able to raise their eyelids. There will be diplopia, the patients will be seeing the things as two. Also there will be the, the uh, screens and there will be difficult in the eye movements of such patients. The, normally we see a descending type of paralysis in the neurotoxic snake bites. They will be later having difficulty in chewing and also they will be having difficulty in breathing and many of the patients die because of their respiratory errors because this affects our breathing muscles and the patient will have difficulty in breathing and then they will go into hypoxia and they will turn into blue and they will die. So if you look into the symptoms of the wipers we can find that there will be locus swelling as well as pain will be there, bleeding from different sites like there will be gum bleeding, there will be bleeding from the eyes that is called conjunctival hemorrhage, there will be bleeding from the skins, there will be bleeding from the nose. So this is a, one of the main symptoms which we see in case of wipers. In addition to that, the patient might have severe abdominal pain because of the bleeding inside their stomach. Also, these patients will be having dark urine or hematuria. In addition to that, they will have back pain, they will have muscle, severe muscle pain. These are the common symptoms which we see in case of the, uh, if it is beaten by a wiper. Next thing is, we should be shifting these patients to the hospital as soon as possible because delay in shifting this patient can be a life-threatening problem to this patient and can lead to the death of these patients. So these patients, anybody is beaten or have any doubts is being beaten by a snake, please take them to the hospital immediately. And please don't let the patients to walk, the immobilize their limb, the is beaten on a leg, immobilize it by tying the leg to the other leg don't let the patient to walk. Avoid tourniquets. Please never tie any tourniquets above the, the uh, bitten area because this can lead to uh, further complications later. Please avoid tourniquets, repeating it. Please avoid tourniquets. Avoid squeezing of the wounds. Avoid cutting of the wounds. Avoid sucking of the wounds. This can cause further uh, problems to this patients as well as person who is handling it and always give reassurance to the patients tell them we have we can get the treatment and this is a completely curable disease which if we get a correct treatment and please take them to a nearby hospital where they have anti snake venom never waste your time by trying to catch the snake who has been bitten because in India, we have polyvalent anti-snake venom. That means it, if any of these four snakes has bitten a person, 
this the treatment is same so don't waste your time by trying to catch the snakes in the hospital where the doc patients will be examined by the doctor and the person who is accompanying the patient should be able to see the symptoms or should be able to tell about what has happened to the patient and what all did they notice uh, after they bite like did they notice the patient is having a tosses any breathing difficulty such thing should be explained to the doctor properly and also the it is always better to take with a close relative like father or mother with the patient because later if they want to give a consent for giving anti snake venom there should be available and when you reach the hospital the doctors will be examining the patient and if it is a neurotoxic the patient is having symptoms like local uh, edema if the patient has a neurological symptoms this patients they will start anti snake venom immediately and if the patient is having a breathing difficulty or a patient having symptoms of breathing uh, or uh, respiratory paralysis the doctor may intubate the patient and may shift him to the ventilator that is a normal routine which is being done along with that they will be giving anti snake venoms and if it is an hematotoxic the doctors will be checking the blood of the patient and they will be looking into the clotting time of the patient the whole blood clotting time and if the patient has the uh, any delay in clotting then they will be starting the asv for this patients so the cobra is a neurotoxic crate is a neurotoxic but sometimes we find some hemolysis in crates case also and all wipers are hematotoxic and when you reach the hospital if the doctor is asking you a concern they will be explaining you the complications as it is been explained for any procedures if you go for a surgery they will be explaining you the all complications but you will be signing the consent the same thing is here also for the, if giving an asv it has its own complications like the patient can develop reactions and later the complications of the the as the bite or the venom itself the patient may end up in dialysis the patient may end up in the, in the in the ventilator this all will be explained by the doctor to you and you please put your consent to save the patient's life if you take a right decision in the right time we can cure the problem and save the patient so please react in time and put your mind in saving the patients with snake bite thank you bye